Hi, it's Michelle here using Screenomatic to show you how to use the snipping tool. Now, I want to take this picture here that I have somewhere on my hard drive, and I want to take it and lift it off and put it into Movie Maker so that I can use that uh, as part of a movie I'm making. Um, except for, you know, I could be looking for hours to try and find this picture. I don't have time for that right now. <laughs> I just need, I, I mean, it's right here. I found the picture, I, but I can't find the file. So I want to use the snipping tool to just lift it off and cut it, paste it, and put it in the file, into the Movie Maker file. So um, here's how you use the snipping tool. Double click on it. It turns the screen a, a, a pasty white. Okay, now here's what happens. The snipping tool box comes up for the window. And if this is the first time you're, you're using it, you've got some options. You can do a freeform snip, and that means, you know, you can just sort of select Maybe you just want to select this round glass here. Um, rectangular snip, which is what I'm going to select. A window snip would select whatever the active window is. And in this case, it's this whole window of my Facebook page. Or a full screen snip. It means everything. The whole screen. Whatever's on your screen at the time. I'm going to go ahead and select... a rectangular snip. Okay, it wasn't exactly the most perfect snip or selection, but that'll do. That's all I really need anyway. Now the next thing you want to do is save it. File. Whoops, I'm sorry, I gotta show you in the box here. The second thing you do is save it. File, save as. Now, what it's gonna to wanna to do is, if this is the first time you're using it, it's gonna to want to default to a portable network graphic file which means that it'll save with a transparent background. Um, and that's great for photos, a program like Photoshop because, um, you know, that makes it easier to work with. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to save it as GIF or GIF, uh, which is usually a small graphic file. I can't believe she just flushed the toilet. Oh, God. Okay. Um, JPEG, which means it's a picture file, and single file HTML, which is a hypertext markup language, I believe, which is for the web, the internet. We're not going to save it as that. We're going to save it as a picture file. So that's JPEG, and that's usually your best bet to go with that. So just go ahead and save it. And you don't want to save it as capture. If you save everything as capture, you're going to be quite confused. You're going to be saving all over your, your own uh, files all over the top of each other. Save it as something um, uh, meaningful. And uh, I can see now that I've saved it already as Christmas candles. Uh oh, oh, there it is. There's my file. Christmas carols, uh, candles. So Christmas candles. Candles 2. How about that? Okay, there it is. Now I can go into my program Movie Maker and go and get that file. I believe I saved it under Originals. And there it is there. Christmas candles too. And I didn't have to go digging for it and look for it for hours and hours. I just snipped it from a 
Facebook, uh, face, yeah, Facebook picture. And that's it. That's all you have to do to use the snipping tool. Thank you.